Today we embark on a thought-provoking journey through the realm of cybernetic enhancements in South Korea. We will explore the extraordinary advancements in human augmentation technologies and delve into the ethical dilemmas and societal implications they raise. In South Korea, top scientists and engineers are at the forefront of pioneering groundbreaking cybernetic technologies that push the boundaries between humans and machines. These visionary individuals are working in state-of-the-art laboratories dedicating their expertise and efforts to develop cutting-edge advancements in the field of human augmentation. Their research focuses on creating cybernetic technologies that seamlessly integrate with the human body, blurring the lines between biological and artificial systems through the use of advanced robotics, neuroprosthetics and neural interfaces. They aim to enhance human capabilities and overcome physical limitations. For example, researchers are developing cybernetic limbs that can restore mobility and functionality to individuals who have lost limbs or experienced spinal cord injuries. These limbs are designed to be controlled by the user's neural signals allowing for intuitive and natural movement. In addition to physical augmentation, South Korean scientists are exploring the potential of cybernetic technologies to enhance the human senses through sensory implants and neural interfaces. They aim to restore or enhance vision, hearing, and other sensory functions, enabling individuals with disabilities to experience the world in new ways. The groundbreaking work being done in South Korea's labs represents a paradigm shift in our understanding of the human-machine relationship. It paves the way for a future where humans can harness the power of technology to transcend their biological limitations and unlock new levels of human potential. With their relentless pursuit of innovation, South Korean scientists and engineers are driving the progress of cybernetics, ultimately contributing to the advancement of human augmentation technologies worldwide. One lesser known aspect of cybernetics in South Korea is the government's active involvement in promoting and supporting research and development in this field. The South Korean government has established initiatives and funding programs to encourage advancements in cybernetic technologies aiming to position the country as a global leader in this domain. The government's support extends to collaborations between academia, industry and research institutions through partnerships and grants. They foster innovation and provide resources to scientists, engineers and entrepreneurs working on cybernetic projects. This approach has resulted in a thriving ecosystem that encourages experimentation and pushes the boundaries of human augmentation. Additionally, South Korea has been investing in the development of comprehensive regulatory frameworks to ensure the safe and ethical use of cybernetic enhancements. They recognize the importance of balancing innovation with responsible implementation considering the potential risks and implications for society. While the global spotlight often falls on countries like the United States and Japan when it comes to technological advancements, South Korea's commitment to cybernetics and their supportive ecosystem contribute to its emergence as a significant player in the field. Imagine a world where those with disabilities can regain their mobility through cybernetic limbs, where the blind can see and the deaf can hear through advanced sensory implants. But with these remarkable advancements come complex ethical questions. Should we alter the essence of what it means to be human? Do we risk creating a divide between the augmented and non-augmented? Some argue that cybernetic enhancements offer unprecedented opportunities for human progress. They believe that by embracing these technologies we can unlock untapped potential and push the boundaries of human capabilities. However, others express concerns. They fear that cybernetic enhancements may lead to inequality, as only those who can afford them will have access to these advancements. They worry about the erosion of our natural humanity and the potential loss of our core values. As individuals ponder whether to embrace cybernetic enhancements, society as a whole stands at a crossroads. What kind of future do we want to create? And how do we ensure that the benefits of these technologies are accessible to all, regardless of their socio-economic status? South Korea's journey into the profound world of cybernetic enhancements raises profound questions about what it means to be human and the ethical implications of our technological advancements. What do you think about the impending rise of cybernetics? Let us know in the comments below. And with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, let's continue to contemplate the future of augmented humanity.